know, one of CCA's main goals is uh, not only to have a partnership with the community, but also with the world. And with Wills for the World, that's one way we can do that. We impact our community directly uh, by housing inmates but and keeping the community safe. Uh, but with Wills for the World, we can also impact the world by providing wheelchairs. Now, this program was started uh, 11 years ago uh, by a man named Mr. Gary Siebel. Um, and 11 years, we've put out over 5,000 wheelchairs since then. CCA works in partnership with an organization called Johnny and Friends. Now, Wills for the World is a branch of Johnny and Friends. Um, we work hand in hand to make sure that these wheelchairs are collected uh, in the facility here and are restored and that we make sure we get them back to Johnny and Friends so they can be distributed around the world. I, I feel real good about myself, about the work I do in the program because I, I care about what, it, what it's going to ride like, what it's going to what it's going to feel like, if, if, is it going to be safe, like if, like I said once before, it, it, you know, there's a lot of children and, and, and handicapped people that it's, it's their means to get out and see things. I feel good about the work I'm doing in this program because it helps other people, uh, especially, you know, people that are less fortunate than us. You know, the benefits that I see from um, not only from myself, but also from inmates from the time they start working here. Most of them, most inmates when they start here, it's to get out of the units, it's to earn time off their sentence. And over time, I see those attitudes change once they get here and they start doing the work and they, they see the pictures um, of the lives that are affected. Just when you're in here and you see these little children's wheelchairs and, and some of the other wheelchairs for people that are just completely immobile, you know, it, it changes your thinking. You know, it's not just about you. There's other people that have needs out there, a lot worse than me being in this facility. Uh, when they leave here, they're they're uh, they're leaving with a sense of accomplishment um, and a sense of duty uh, that maybe they never had to anything before in their life. Um, they've helped people out when maybe before they had never helped anyone do anything. While I'm in here, I'm actually helping other people, not just helping myself. Uh, a lot of these people that get these wheelchairs that we, that we restore never have a wheelchair in their life, you know, unless it was for us. But the attitude change in itself um, can be transforming. Uh, for somebody who's maybe never had a job, and we get plenty of guys who have, have been 20 and 30 years old and have never had a job, but have after leaving here, they understand what it's like to have to get up and have to come to work every day and not only do that but care about what they're doing at the same time. Now I, I seem like i got a reason to, to go to, to be here every day and it gives you something to do and helps you stay positive. It's also give the inmates the benefits to uh, let them realize that they don't have to go back out in the community and do things negative but they can do things positive in the community and at the same time get them an opportunity to uh, give back to it's an opportunity to give something back to, to others less fortunate. I feel like that when they've left here, they don't feel like they've, they've had just time wasted in their life. While they've been here, they've been doing something, uh, something important, something positive, uh, maybe something monumental. I think we send out maybe a thousand chairs a year, you know. Where would they be at if it wasn't that thousand there? You're actually doing something for someone else. You're not just doing it for yourself. You're not expecting to get anything back for it except the satisfaction of knowing that you help someone that can't help themselves.